Hi, welcome back to the Crossroads Calligraphy channel. My name is Renee and my pronouns are she and her. And we're coming to you from Tucson, Arizona, which is traditionally Tohono O'odham land. And today we're talking about how to lighten up your pen grip uh, for calligraphy, but it can really uh, be for anyone. So what you'll need is a writing instrument today, a pencil with an eraser on the end, and a paper towel. So we'll go ahead and get started. So some of the things that can contribute to um, a tight pen grip in the first place are, um, are maybe you hold a pen tightly out of habit. Um, sometimes we kind of grip the pen if we can't see our work too well or when we're frustrated. Um, sometimes we even hold the pen too tightly because there's pain elsewhere in the body. So if you haven't checked out our posture video yet, um, put it on your watch next or, uh, or check it out later. And that kind of talks about how to set your body up for, um, for calligraphy to flow through you more fluidly. So, um, and these are kind of moving factors that contribute to, um, to an excessively tight grip. And I'll tell you, I've been practicing calligraphy for, um, well, dedicated for about eight years now. And the things that I'm going to share in this video are still things that I need to remind myself of. Um, so with that said, a couple benefits of loosening up the pen grip uh, for calligraphy specifically are, one, we're avoiding pain in the hand and injury. Uh, or potential injury to the hand, which will in turn lengthen the amount of time that we practice calligraphy, like for the long term, still take breaks every 30 minutes or so. Um, another benefit to lightening up the pen grip is increased range of motion um, as you're writing. And we'll get into that. Um, and then lastly, when you have a light pen grip, and increased range of motion, your body has more access to more advanced calligraphic techniques. And um, so all that we're gonna work with today in using a pen or a pencil. I'll go ahead and flip the camera and show you what I mean. Okay, I'll start the segment by saying that working with your pen grip is like brushing your teeth with your non-dominant hand for the first time. It's, <laughs> it takes some patience, it feels really weird, but uh, you'll be okay. So I just need to grab a piece of paper to keep underneath my arm so it doesn't slide around. And this, and what I'm about to say, I learned from my teacher, Paul Antonio. So just use your regular pen grip, however you normally hold a pen. And what I want you to do is keep, keep your fingers in the sh same shape that they're in, but relax them. One thing I learned from, from Paul is that your finger's only job is to hold the pen. And that's just it, You're, you hold it with, without squeezing it. Um, <laughs> one thing I notice about myself is I watch other people writing and I try and notice what way they're holding the pen. And I, I mean, truly, I, I tend to see people really squeeze up the palm. They really close up the fist like this, which is, I mean, it works. It works for them. There's nothing against that. But with calligraphy, one thing that we're looking for in the way that we hold a pen is a larger range of motion and the ability to turn the pen as as we write, which is, I mean, not something that you're always doing, but it's nice to be able to have that kind of access to it. So, um, so just practice making a few light marks with your pen or pencil. Sorry, I neglected to say that you also need a piece of paper for, to follow along with this video. And feel free to pause it and make your few few marks. And the purpose of this is to show you that you 
can still make marks with your pen without putting a whole bunch of pressure on it. Now, I this is how I learned to hold a pen or a pencil probably when I was, you know, 5. <sighs> to hold it in between the thumb and forefinger with the barrel or if you have a pencil just the pencil resting between the first and second knuckle of the index finger. Okay. And then supporting it, sorry, supporting it with the middle finger. Okay. So you can see how open the palm is. My fingers aren't, well, then the, the ring and pinky curl under to support the weight of my hand. Okay. That's how I learned to hold a pen, pencil. And this way you can for calligraphy, you can turn the pen slightly as you write while you're twisting your fingers. But also, if I'm writing, look how much of a line I get. As opposed to if I'm holding it much closer to the point, my fingers can only go that far. So that's at least three times as far. That's the difference. Okay. So we have an open palm. I'm just holding the pen with my fingers. And now, now I need to use my non-writing hand to move the pen a little bit so that it reaches the table. So, I mean, rewind, rewatch if you need to. But now go ahead and again, just holding the pen with your fingers, not squeezing it, not closing up the palm, try pulling some lines, some light lines with the pen or pencil. It doesn't matter which one you're using. Maybe some circles. Overturn. Underturn. and try to keep the palm open. Now one benefit of, again, of holding the pen like this is you have a lightness in your fingers. Your fingers are only holding the pen. So we learn to apply pressure with the muscles of the arm and the wrist. This goes all the way up to the shoulder. But um, so, so now try practicing applying pressure with your wrist, not your index finger. So push down with the muscles in your arm. And you might notice this requires you to move your whole arm while you do this. Oh, I am having such trouble keeping on camera. I'm trying a new angle. Here we go. So practice putting pressure using your wrist this is especially helpful in <clears throat> this is especially helpful in pointed pen and brush calligraphy because there is such a difference um, between the light and heavy lines because we regulate that using pressure. So to be able to write a light line and then to be able to write a heavy line and then change the pressure as you're in the same stroke is a little bit more advanced and it adds an elegance and accessibility to your calligraphy. Okay, so four ways to lighten up your pen grip. The first way I remind myself to lighten up is to remove my index finger from the pen as I write. And this reminds me not to put pressure with my finger but with my my wrist, yeah, my wrist and my arm. So again, it's like brushing teeth with your non-dominant hand. But this reminds me also to keep a light touch 
to use my whole arm to move instead of putting pressure only with my fingers. Second tip, um, I find that especially if I, well, I had an envelope uh, calligraphy to do for a wedding and it was gold ink and I couldn't get it to flow very well and so I was pushing really hard and I, you know, was locking up my hand. But what I found helped me was extending my pinky as I wrote because that also will open up the palm for me and it kind of steadied my hand. So try, try a few letters, just regular letters or straight lines with the pinky extended. Again, hold the pen lightly, holding the pen lightly and moving the hand instead of the fingers to make these shapes. And you notice that you can't really be pressing down with your hand if you want to be able to slide it around on the table. And so that means that we're moving, we're returning the, the movement to the bigger muscle groups of the body rather than, you know, the ligaments and tendons in the fingers. Okay, the third one, this is where your paper towel comes in handy, is uh, to hold that in your palm as you write. So what's going to happen is a couple of things. I mean, it's going to support your hand staying up upright a little bit, but it's also um, getting you to squeeze the paper towel instead of the pen. So you could also use a tissue or a handkerchief. I think paper would be too abrasive on the palm, but it transfers the pressure that your fingers would be putting to the hand. I mean, excuse me, to the tower, towel. God help me. All right. And then the fourth way, I, I learned this also from my teacher, Paul, is in your non-dominant hand, take your pencil with an eraser, the eraser facing the paper, and place the eraser right above where you're going to be writing. And what that's going to do is transfer some of the tension that your writing hand would be putting on the pen to your non-writing hand. And that doesn't mean you don't have to think, like hold the pen lightly, use the wrist and the arm to put pressure, but it will take away some of the tension in your hand. If you're wondering what I'm writing, it's my own name over and over again. I rarely ever write my own name. Okay. So that said, again, um, I do recommend that you check out the posture video um, because there's a couple sections that speak to well, the whole thing is about uh, creating stability in the body so that you can have freedom in your writing arm. Uh, and that will extend the longevity of your calligraphy practice. Truly um, improving your hand grip will help you to want to practice more. If you have pain in your body um, and frustration, then you probably aren't going to want to get your pen out and practice. So I hope that video was helpful and offered you just a few tools and techniques that you can use to work with lightening up your own pen grip. Um, do make sure to be patient with yourself. I, again, I've been working with it for a very long time and I still find myself reminding myself of things. Um, Feel free to check out our other playlist, Calligraphy Demos, to learn more about setting up your calligraphy practice for success. Um, any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them below, and thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.